Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Zend Framework 2 mini series. In the last video, we went ahead and installed Zend and got our folder and file structure set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a module. Okay, so Zend works on what's called a module and it's basically uh, encapsulates a certain um, aspect of your application. All right, so in our case, we're going to have an album module. All right, now if we look in the file structure here, you have a folder called module, and inside there we have a folder called application. This is basically the core module, okay? So this holds um, things like bootstrapping and uh, configs and for the, for the entire application, all right? So we don't wanna go in there, we wanna create our own module. And if we look at the documentation, you can see here, we're gonna create a folder called album inside of the module folder and we're going to create all of these inside all right so the entire model view controller for the album will be in this folder all right so let's go ahead and open up our my albums here and go into module and we're going to create a new folder called album okay and then in there we're going to create a config folder We want a source folder. All right, and then inside source, we want another album folder. And this is where the controller goes. So we'll create a, a, a folder called controller. I'm going to create a folder called form. And then we also want a model folder. All right, and in addition to config and source, we also want a view folder. Okay, that'll obviously hold our views. Okay, inside view, we're going to create album. And then once again, inside there, we're going to create another album folder. All right, so that's, that's the structure for the album module. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a file called module.php and we want to create that inside of the album folder. So inside module we have album and we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this module.php. All right, and then over here you can see we have the code that we need to put in there. It's going to be a class called module and we're going to have two methods. We're going to have get autoloader config and then get config. All right. So let's go ahead and copy this whole thing. Okay, and we'll paste that inside module.php. Okay, we need to add a PHP tag up here. Now, see, this is what I was talking about when I said that Zend is configuration over convention. Okay, so we just have to, we have to do a lot of different things to um, get our application configured and up and running. And all this is doing is getting the autoloader so we can autoload classes and also getting our config file. So let's save that. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to set up the autoload. Okay, so there's two options. We could create a file called autoloadclassmap.php or we could just add this autoload object to our composer.json file. All right, so we're going to do this one. Let's copy that. And then over in our folder structure, we have this composer.json. We're going to go to that and we're just going to throw a comma in there and then paste that in just like that. So let's save this. And then what we need to do now is we need to run composer update. Okay, so let's go back into or let's open up a command line. I'm just going to navigate to the project. Okay. So we want to run, since we installed Composer in Windows, uh, it's a, it's, we can access it globally. So we'll say Composer Update. All 
All right, so that's all set. Now what that did, let me just refresh our folders here. If we go into vendor and then composer and then this um, auto load namespaces, you should now have this album object or album array. Okay, so that's what that did. So what we need to do now is we need to create our module.config file. All right. So this is going to go inside of module album config. All right. So we'll create a new file and let's save it as module.config.php. All right. And then if we go back over here, what we want is this array. Copy. Okay, so we're setting up our array with the controllers array and we have this invocables array. All right, and that's just pointing to our controller file. And then we have the view manager. So make sure that that's saved. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to inform the application of our new module. So to do that, we need to open the uh, application.config file and that's going to be um, that's going to be in the root config. So right here. All right. And then what we'll do is in addition to application, we want album. So let's save that and let's see what we have. Uh, all right. So I guess we're, we're going to have to create that class map file. Uh, let's see. I've had this issue before. I don't know why I didn't remember that. Um, we need to create this file right here. Auto load class map. Okay, that's going to go in module album. Uh, yeah, just in module and then album. So we'll create a new file. And let's see. We're going to save it as this. Okay, and then all we want to do is put an empty array here that uh, we need PHP tags though at least the top one save and let's see there we go okay so that's all set so now we have our album module set up so we're ready to start on our MVC structure so we'll do that in the next video